Hello YouTube, this is Metro Hero 2012. Welcome to my FIFA 17 video covering Wonder Kids. So in this series, I will be taking West Ham United, buying all of these young Wonder Kids, training them up, training them up and showing you how much they progress throughout the years. So I'm going to be going through training with them. <clears throat> I'm not exactly showing you all the training, I'm showing you at the end of the year and kind of giving you hints on how to train them. Um, but we'll go ahead and start with season one. To kick off this series, the first thing I have to tell you guys is you have to get Gianluigi Donnarumma. He is the goalkeeper for AC Milan, and he's very good. He starts at age 17 in this game, and as you can see on the screen, I improved him 8 overall in the very first season. So he goes all the way up to an 84 overall. People love going and buying De Gea for like 70 million, but even if you're a really good team, say you're Chelsea or you're... Um, Bayern Munich or even Barcelona if you're one of those teams you can buy Donnarumma they ask 12 million for him you can buy him for roughly 7 million I think like 7 million five hundred thousand uh, dollars US dollars that's in you can buy him for that much and by the end of the season you can see he's valued at 28.5 million and I've actually received offers from both Bayern and FC Barcelona for over 50 million for him so if you want to make 40 million in a season you should get Donnarumma and on top of that, you can you can train him beyond this season. This is just one season, guys. He went up 10 goalkeeper diving, 5 goalkeeper kicking, 13 goalkeeper position, 2 goalkeeper handling, I didn't work on that very much, and 9 goalkeeper reflexes. Look at that. 93 reflexes, 83 positioning, 88 diving. And he's got an ac acrobatic skill as well. So he is a super, super good goalie. He's my favorite goalie in the game. Even if you're a good team, you really need to go after Gianluigi Donnarumma. The second guy I got on this team, I won't talk about very long, is Hector Bellerin. He improves very well himself. I got him really quick um, at, the, at the first transfer window, I think at the very end of the first transfer window. So I had him about half a season, and he progressed one overall. I didn't work on his stats at all, so I mean, really, I didn't have to include him in this series, but he is a guy you want to consider at right back. You can get him fairly affordable, around $20 million, and he becomes a very good right back. There's not very many good right backs in FIFA, so if you want a good right back, Hector Bellerin's a good guy to pursue, and I think if you were to train him like more so than I did, you'd have a lot of success with him. The third guy on the list is Kurt Zuma. He's another guy that didn't trade train very much. Um, I think had I trained him a lot more, he would have gotten a lot better, and actually in Season 2 I start training him a lot more. I bought him second transfer window, so he's only there the second half of the year. Again, I didn't train him, and he already got one overall better. So definitely consider Kurt Zuma. Um, if you watch my next episode in this series, which will be coming out fairly shortly, you'll see that Kurt Zuma progresses very well as well for a center back. Um, in this next season, I'll be buying a few different center backs that are very good. So if you're more interested in defensive players, definitely stay tuned for my next video. Subscribe so you're notified when it comes out. Okay, the fourth guy on the list will be Reese Oxford. This guy you absolutely have to get. He is a West Ham player. He starts at only 66 overall, but he has literally the biggest growth in the game. He can go from 66 overall all the way to like 88 or 90. It's insane how much this guy can grow. You can buy him right away for like 1.2 million, no matter what team you're on. If you, Like I said before, if you have Barcelona, go out and put an offer for Reese Oxford for like 1.2 million and just train him. If you're not, if you already have a stack team and you don't care about training, just put him, put him in for like El Rondo and like one other training drill and just watch him grow. I, I trained him like half the season. I started training other guys and he got four overall better um, just because I got other people to try training. Um, but Reese Oxford gets so good so fast. He's such a good return on investment. You can buy him for a million, like I said, and then you can eventually sell him for like a lot more than that. So definitely pick him up. It, it doesn't hurt to have him on the team and to throw him some training every once in a while. He definitely has the biggest growth in FIFA 17, so definitely go after Reese Oxford. One of my surprise favorite players in this series was Usman Dembele. He was just recently bought by Borussia Dortmund, so it might take a little while and a little bit of money to get him. As you can see here, he's valued at 29 million. I had to buy him the second transfer window, and I didn't get to train him much of the second half because he was injured for a little bit. But he's very, very, very good. He's very fast. He's a very good right mid player. Um, a very good value. He has a lot of growth. 
he went he got to overall better in half a season and mainly that was a quarter of a season because of his injuries and you'll see in the next episode he gets even better than this so if you want to see how they progress season to season like i said earlier please subscribe and you will be notified when those videos come out and you can see how fast these guys actually grow with some training i know that there's people on youtube who do grow from potential videos but they don't actually train them in this series i will be training all these players and usman dembele is a very good example of being able to get a good player out of value as long as you're willing to train him for a little bit so definitely look at him as well but you're gonna have to wait for the second transfer window on this guy my brother is the biggest spurs fan so i had to go out and buy Deli ali when I watch Spurs with him, he is definitely my favorite player. When you first start this game, he's 20 years old. He got to 21 by the end of the season, but he improved four overall for a center attacking mid. I want to say I picked him up for around 20 million when I threw in a player with that deal. And you can see he's already valued at 45 million, and he's worth even more than that. I've gotten offers from Barcelona, from Real Madrid. People want him for upwards of 60, 70 million dollars already. So a guy you can buy for 20 million and have worth 60, 70 by the end of one season is crazy. You can see his stats are all really solid. He's a very good center attacking mid. I got him plus four overall better. And he can also play, I believe it's like a center defensive mid and maybe like a left mid. Like he plays all over the place. If you want like a midfielder that can play attacking mid or defending mid, Deli Ali is one of your only options. And he's definitely your best option because he's so young and he has such high potential. He's already 84 overall after one year and I know he's going to get higher than that. But look at that growth. Plus four overall in the first season. Crazy. If you want a guy that's versatile, go for Deli Alley. And definitely someone I highly recommend everybody getting is Renato Sanchez. I started watching the FIFA World Cup and saw this guy play for Portugal and I knew he was going to be a beast. He got bought immediately by Bayern Munich for roughly $20 million, and you can pick him up for about that as well. You do have to wait a transfer window, but once that second transfer window rolls around and you stash $20 million, maybe throw a player in there, you can get yourself Renato Sanchez. And you can see in just a half a year of training this guy, he got to 82 overall, he improved plus 3 overall. And look at his physical attributes. Everything is green or dark green. He has 84 sprint speed, 89 balance, 98 stamina after the first season. Three agility. You just have to train this guy with like beat your man and he will get this good. And his technical skills all are pretty decent. There's nothing in the uh, curve is in the orange, but nothing's in the red. He's very good. He is probably the most balanced player you can get in FIFA and he's only 19 years old by the end of the first season. Like, you really can't train your physicals much better than this guy already has them, and his technical skills are only going to grow. So stick around if you want to see how, mo how much better he gets in the second season, but he's a very good holding center mid. Very strong, very fast, very, very well-rounded player, probably second only to Deli Alley. But his physicals are just untouchable. Very, very good player in Ronaldo Sanchez. Now closer to the more expensive end, if you're on a team that has a little bit more money, I'm telling you right now you have to pursue Anthony Martial. He is listed as a left mid player, he plays very well from that position, he's better as like an attacking mid like wing kind of guy, but his secondary position is striker, you can have him fill in there, you can have him start as striker. What I personally do is I have him start as like a left mid, um, I play kind of like a 4-3-3, have him as a left mid, and then I also can bump him up to like that left wing mid or the striker position. So he's very versatile in that regard. He can play any of those three positions, and he is so, so good. He plays like an elite player in this game already at age 21, and he really is only going to get better. He got three overall better in a year, and I think I stopped training him after the first half, honestly, to start training other guys. You can just train beat your man and get him very good, but look at his physicals, his sprint speed at 95 after the first season, balance at 88, reactions 81, stamina 82, acceleration at 93. Like this guy is so good, he handles the ball so well when you're playing with him in the game, his dribbling is 94. He reminds me a lot of how Neymar plays in the wing, because I, I play with Barcelona and Neymar so much, and he literally, he can just dribble between people, he can stop on a dime, he's a very, very talented player. If you have any money that you're willing to spend, pursue Anthony Martial, I'm telling you he is the best player on this team. 
By far the biggest surprise of this series is Marco Asensio. I'd never heard of him. I kind of looked up online high potential players and found him. He's a center attacking mid from Real Madrid in the Spanish league. He comes in at age 20. By the end of the first year he turns to 21. But I bought him. Um, I think I paid 20 million and maybe a player. So he's valued at 20 million right away when you buy him. And look at that. He grew three overall. He's already valued at 42 million. Going into my next season, I think he's one of my highest valued players. So if you just want to get a huge value in a player, Marco Asensio for 20 million is where you should go. He is so good. Look at all of his stats. They're just very, very solid. All of his physicals improved so much in the first season. He grew to 84 overall. And when I simulate, he literally scores all of my goals. He'll get hat tricks and he'll get two goal games so often, it's ridiculous. He's one of the best sim players I've had. Um, and he plays very well. So I have him playing center attacking mid um, a lot of times by either Dimitri Payet or Deli Ali, and he plays so well. He's a very good center attacking mid. I highly recommend getting Marco Asensio. One guy I had to pick up was Marcus Rashford. I needed a striker, and to get a guy that's 18 years old and is this balanced of a striker is just a steal. So he comes into the game with a 76 overall, but you can see by the end of the first season, I got him plus five overall. Of all these guys I'm listing, he's probably one of the most important to get because strikers are so valued in this game and to get him at a value, I think I bought him for like 10 or 12 million with, with another player in that deal as well. And he grew to 81 overall in his first season, just train things like um, distant shooting and stuff like that with him and he'll get very good. I didn't train anything for his speed and he got plus two in sprint speed is now at 92. His physicals are all excellent. His strength is a little bit low, but everything else is very, very solid. His agility, his jumping, acceleration, sprint speed, all very solid. His technical skills are very good as well. You can see his heading accuracy went up plus 14 in the first season as well as his volleys. So you can train on his distance shooting and his headers and volleys and he'll become a beast very soon because he can be heading them in from crosses and corners as well as having that fast sprint speed of 92 and it's only going to get faster I'm telling you guys right now in the next season his sprint speed improves even more so if you want a fast striker like a Boomiang but a guy who can head it in like a center defensive mid or like a center back Sergio Romo big guys who can head it in Marcus Rashford is your guy he's a physical beast and he's so good and you can get him at a very good value in this game and train him up he's definitely one of those guys that you have to look at another guy that i just had to get was Briel Mbolo. now i used to buy in fifa 16 i bought him all the time as my primary striker and he was so good but now Schalke had bought him so he's going to be worth a little bit more money in this game uh, i think i bought him around 12 million and now he's valued at 26 million because he got two overall better but this guy, they say he's a right mid, he can also play striker, one of his backup positions is striker. So if you want a very good striker or right mid player, I have him coming off the bench to fill in for Usman Dembele or Rashford. So he, he fills in for the right mid or the striker position. He's only 20 years old, and look at his physicals. 85 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 85 strength. His physicals are just so incredibly balanced that if you put this guy at striker with 85 strength and 88 sprint speed, he is so hard to defend. And if you have him come in as a sub and you just want to put him at right mid, he's also very, very good there. So he's a very versatile player. I uh, definitely recommend him coming off the bench if not starting. He's, he's so, so good. I would have him starting if it weren't for Usman Dembele. But Mbolo is such a balanced player that gets very good as well. He has such high potential. Definitely look at buying him as well. Okay, so say you missed uh, missed on Donnarumma and you don't have a goalie. There's a few other guys that you can go after, Alban Lafont being one, but I went after Drakowski. He was my goalie in FIFA 16. He's very young as well, coming in at 18. He gets up to 19 by the end of the season, but he, he improved on the bench. 75 overall, you just throw him in a few games. If you get a two-goal lead and just put him in there, or if you want to give your goalie a rest, you can do that. Put him in there. He got two overall better just from that. He's he's so good. It's so easy to get high potential goalies better. Um, if you want to train them, you just do goalkeeper training. There's only three options. You can do any of them. They're going to get a lot better. Like stopping penalty kicks or one-on-one -on -one goalkeeping. For Donnarumma or Dragowski, that's how you train them. And look at that. He's very solid as a backup goalkeeper, and he's only going to get better even if he's playing on the bench. So if you miss out on Donnarumma, go for a guy like Alvin LaFont or Dragowski, I guarantee you won't be upset, but Donnarumma is definitely the home run guy here.
Then the last guy I just threw in here, he's not exactly a wonder kid, but I had him already in West Ham, is Manuel Lanzini. He's 24 years old, so he's getting up there to be considered a wonder kid. But honestly, I didn't train this guy once, and he got three overall better in the first season. He scored a lot of goals for me, simming and playing, and he's coming off the bench. So getting this guy is not a bad idea. If you're starting off as West Ham, probably don't sell him. He gets very, very good, and he, he gets to be worth more money after a while. Um, just thought I'd throw him in there to let you guys know. He's a solid player as well. He's not one of my wonder kids, but just wanted to kind of throw him in there at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching episode one of my Wonder Kids series. If you want to be notified when the next one comes out, please subscribe and you will see my videos when they're released. They'll be coming out fairly shortly. I'm over halfway through this year. I want to be able to play a lot of the games too. This is kind of the series I'm doing for fun as well as I am for YouTube training purposes. I want to show you guys how good they are because I'm looking, I'm always constantly looking for videos on YouTube for, of Wonder Kids to see who I should get in my team and who I should make good. Um, so if you guys want to see how these guys progress with some training throughout the years, definitely stick to this channel, and I'll be uploading periodically. You can expect episode two to be up very shortly, one, maybe two weeks, and you'll see how everybody progresses after their second year. But this team is going to be a beast pretty soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, and like I said, subscribe. I'll see you in episode two.